Hey Tubers, it's Ricardo with the Tech Fan Channel. Now, in light of so many Flappy Bird clones out there, I've decided to create a segment called The Clone of the Flappy. Now, in each of these videos, I'm going to go ahead and review what I consider to be a clone of Flappy Bird. Now, we're going to start with Splashy Fish, the adventure of a flappy tiny birdfish. It's a freaking huge name. Now, let's see if it actually stands up to Flappy Bird. And uh, in annoyings and maybe graphics, whatever. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, it looks like it's this little fish. Now, doesn't this dude look like Magikarp from Pokemon? Remember that guy? Yeah, I think it, it looks like, like this dude. Uh, let's take, check it out. All right. Oh, snap. So, it looks like it's just as annoying as Flappy Bird. Hang on. Let me assume gaming position here. All right. So I really like the graphics on this thing, and it's got better sound. It actually has some, um, okay, too. The the little pillars replacing the the pipes are actually pretty awesome. Makes me feel like I'm under the sea, kind of like a Triton story. You know what I mean? All right, let's see if I can beat my high score in Flappy Bird. Right now it's still 109. I haven't been able to break that. See if I can do it on Splashy Fish. Whoa, what the hell was that yellow thing? Mm, I want to know. Will I see it? I think it was on the ninth, right? Alright, let's see. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's on the tenth. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, I think the dude is wearing it on his on his flipper. Oh, come on. 16. Now, I wish it had little some sort of music in the background. It has nothing. It, it has a bunch of audio effects though. I think I really think that's actually pretty awesome. Oh, and you know what I just noticed? The ads are at the bottom, not at the top, which makes it less annoying, I think. All right, but everything else is the same as far as the engine goes. If, if you drop it, it actually drops at about the same rate as Flappy Bird did. Oh, come on. How the hell do I go from 16 to 1 and 2? That's so stupid. Freaking A. All right, concentrate, concentrate. All right. This is my concentration phase. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh snap, come on. Yes, I beat my record. Yes. Ooh, there's a crown. Oh, the little dude is wearing the crown. Oh, freaking me. Oh, and he gets to keep the crown. That's freaking badass. I really like that. Oh my god, so in the end, this little dude is gonna look like freaking Rambo. Tricked out. Maybe we can give him a little. little, uh. bulletproof vest and maybe some weapons. Come on! How am I gonna get 22 now? Can't even get 5. Can't even get 2. What the freaking A? Come on, little splashy fish. Ha! Ah. This is so annoying. Come on. So I, I wonder how Dong Wen feels about this game. So he took down his game because it was too addictive, right? Now, even though he was making $50,000, that's about a million and a half a month. He took it down because apparently he did not want to have an addictive game on the iOS store. Um, so I wonder how he feels knowing that all these clones that are also pretty freaking addictive and make people freaking angry... Uh, are still up and making money now just because he took it down doesn't mean he's not making money let's make that clear this dude is still making money out of anybody that has the application still installed and you know runs the application there's still ads running and he's still banking off of that so this guy is probably set for life think about it he had the application up for a few months every month it was making approximately 
you know, at least five hundred thousand dollars, right? And he lives in Vietnam, where he could probably live off of one hundred thousand uh, dollars for a good few years. So this guy is doing really well, and he's he's the only guy that that programs for Gears. That's the the video game company he has. So all profits go to him. All right, enough talking. Let's go back to seriousness here. Serious business here. Come on, freaking Magikarp. Come on, concentrate, dude. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think I got this. Nope. <sighs> well, there you have it, guys. That's Flashy Fish, the adventure of a flappy, tiny bird fish. Tiny bird fish? What in the hell? Anyway, guys. Uh, go ahead and check it out. I actually, I actually think it's pretty fun. You know, it's a good replacement to Flappy Bird. If you actually were one of those that deleted it, I did, and I still have it. So I think I'll just go back to playing that pretty shortly here. If you like this video, share it with your friends. I would really appreciate that, and drop me a like down there. I would really like that. Also, subscribe for more videos coming soon. And until then, take it easy.